Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Intel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. For latest updates, you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Mania. So, let's begin. Fordyce granules, also called Fordyce spots, are ectopic sebaceous glands. These are collections of normal sebaceous glands within the oral cavity. Sebaceous glands are part of the pilosebaceous unit, which means that they are normally found wherever hair follicles are located, such as skin. Sebaceous glands secretes an oily substance called sebum. Sebum lubricates and waterproofs the skin and hairs. Ectopic sebaceous glands are found in abnormal sites where they are not associated with the hair follicles. These abnormal sites are most often the mucous membranes, like the mucous membrane of our mouth, where they may form small yellow papules called Fordyce spots. Let's look at the pathophysiology of Fordyce granules. The epithelium of the skin and the oral mucosa shares the same embryonic origin that is the ectodermal germ layer. The ectodermal germ layer, besides forming some other important structures of the human body, also forms the skin, the oral mucosa and these precious sebaceous glands, which as said before, becomes an integral part of the hair follicles on the skin and normally should not be located in sites other than the hair follicles. The ectopic occurrence of sebaceous gland in the mouth may result from inclusion of ectoderm in the oral cavity during embryonic development. The included ectoderm might have some of the potentialities of the skin in the course of development of the upper and lower jaw during embryonic life which causes the formation of Fordyce granules within the oral mucosa. Lesions are probably present at birth but they do not become clinically evident until during or following puberty. Fordyce granules are found in 20% of children, 30% of adolescents and 70-80% to of adults. However, these glands may actually disappear altogether in the elderly individuals. The reason they are found most often in adults is because they reach their complete maturity or development in adulthood. That's why they become even more apparent in adults. Lesions appear as white to yellow papules visible through the transparent oral mucosa. Buccal mucosa and vermilion of lips are predominantly affected. Other sites like tongue, gingiva and palate may also be affected. The papules measure 1 to 3 mm and may be clustered. When large numbers of sebaceous glands fuse together, they form plaques. Now coming to the treatment, actually no treatment is required. As these lesions are asymptomatic, they resolve spontaneously and are of no medical consequence. Biopsies reveal normal sebaceous glands that are not associated with hair follicles. Although no treatment is necessary, superficial carbon dioxide laser can be used to ablate cosmetically disfiguring lesions. If you think this video was really helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. If you have got any questions or suggestions, you may just write them down in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.